We are live. So, how you doing? It's been a bit. Uh, pretty good, yeah. Oh, there's a big lag on your end. <laughs> yeah, the technology I'm currently using is a little bit slow. Well, that must be a bit frustrating. Is it slow when you're programming or is that spine? Um, no, my programming, well, I mean, yeah, it, it, the program in itself is fine, but when I go to test it, it's slow for sure, yeah. Mm. It is what it is. So you saw, you found it on the drive, the folders in the drive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the majority of what I've done, like I haven't done the left column yet, I'm just doing that actually today. Uh, with the combo types, so that's the one with most of the switching that'll probably happen. Oh, yeah. Um, so we've got on the left at the top, we've got the issue, then we've got all the different buttons. So each chat room is going to have a different title linked into the categories that we have above, right? Uh, so here, I'll let me pull up the. Okay. Let me get something. But yeah, I don't really want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> that button evolution is the title for the chat room based upon when you push a button at the top, right? Right. Okay. That's yes. I recognize that now. That's one of the. That's one of the. My folders, all those individual buttons. I've got a nice big one for you, right? And then the five G issue at the top. That's just one of the issues. And then we have to figure out, anyway, it's making me have to figure out quite a bit. Um, and then if you go into the, um, where is it? The bit, I need a better way of organizing all this shit. Okay. So now if you, if you look at the ideal one again, yep. and you look at the right side, the right column. Now, yep. now if you go out and go into the bars and columns, and you've got the column two there. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, that's the place for the points, right? And so I've got, I've, I'm just wondering if, if that works for you in terms of uh, there's there needs to be an input on how many points that can go in because what we're doing is we're creating the um, ability to from a facilitator's point of view the ability to program the chat room so there's going to be like the facilitators and then the users as using the chat rooms and the facilitators will be able to program the specific chat rooms yeah. Right. So they will program them with with the mission objective. They will program them with the mission step. And they will give assigned points, either personal, one on one. I would say, let's say they had the ability to to um, wondering Sorry. maybe zero to a hundred points for each one. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. And then, because um, we need to have some sort of ranges of parameters for the points. And th then on the, so is, is that column that is in the column folder, is that gonna be good enough? I just, I, I have the circle for the points to go in and then the name of it. Or do you want it just bare and each one of those an independent thing? Uh, no, no, the way you've got it is good. You can, that'll work? Yeah. Um, well, actually, I guess it would be slightly better if you gave me each individual one. Okay. Yeah, just because then, uh, depending on the screen size, they can, the spacing will take care of itself that way if they're individual. Okay, so I'll do that individual. Also, I've got the... Um, I'm working on the left-hand side because the left-hand side is a lot more... I'll, I'll load them up right now because I've got the left-hand... I think... Let me just see for the left-hand Yeah, side. for those... Is it always those three lenses or? Yeah, but the, they're going to chit like, if you look at, if you look at the whole design again, 
uh, the whole design. I'm on that now. Yeah. The okay, and you look at the left forward. hand side. Yep. Um, yeah, maybe I'm going to do a sh screen share on this. Okay. So. Okay. Um, Okay, can oh. are you seeing it? I can't, my screen's gone. Okay, there. Can you see that? Uh, it says, uh, yeah, it's just starting, I think. It says okay. you started the screen sharing. Oh, yeah, okay, I see it now. You see that? Okay. And can you see my, my mouse as it moves around? Yep. Okay. So on the left-hand side, we have three lenses and there's choose and random for both. Of them. So when they go random, we need like, there's going to be about a hundred values that I'll send you the pictures of. And okay. when you choose random, we got to figure out a way of doing a random selection of one of those hundred. Right. Oh yeah. I know what you're talking about. The, the, cause yeah, I tried that at the party that day. Yeah. And then the choose, is they're going to choose and there'll be a list, a long list of all the values, probably al alphabetical. And so they can either choose or hit random? Yeah, like they, okay. they either go choose or random. And once they've made their choice, then that is the value that goes there. And do you want the random one to say like they click on random, it gives them a lens. Do you want them to be able to keep clicking on random until they like it or just once? Um, Maybe just once, huh? Because that's otherwise they're kind of yeah. defeating the purpose. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just once. Um, All right. And so, then the, the and, conversation. And then the, sorry. Or, or like when they click the choose or the random. Uh, well, when they click the random, it'll give them a. Uh, it'll give them a lens, and then when they click choose, it'll give them the list. Then they pick the lens. Yeah, and then those two buttons on that particular lens area disappears, and it replaces. Well, yeah. The then lens, it's right? then it's replaced with the lens. And this is the for the like the user, right? Not the no, no, well, no. This is the facilitator. The facilitator oh, okay. is, is still programming that particular box. Okay. The user is going to get the end result of everything that the facilitator puts in. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. So then the next one, the conversation type. There's 72 different types of conversations, and I've got I like my goal. I you know, for the next day or two. I could probably finish, I'm hoping maybe finish today, is to um, give you all of those parts, right? Because there's like 96 values, there's 72 conversation types, and there might be almost 200 concepts. Wow, okay. So there's quite a lot, but they're all, like what I'm hoping, right, is, is you can program the chat room so that all of the chat rooms are programmed the same. You don't have to program each, each chat room, right? You wanna have one master chat room Yep. that then you can duplicate into all of them, so to speak. And the only thing that will change was at the top, the evolution part. Yep. And no, I can make it easily. So the facilitator logs in uh, and then, you know, they can, you know, however it works, they create new chat room or, or whatever the button says. And then, yeah, pick the lenses or randomize the lenses, set the personal points, set the objective, the mission steps, et cetera. And then just hit create. And then, yeah, it'll just create another instance of the setup that we're building here. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, that alone is going to be a game changer. I don't think we're going to have, that's going to be, once we've done that, we're, we're, we're aimed to try it out. Um, so at mission step, there's seven different steps. I'll, I'll send you a document that sort of has all the breakdowns of everything. Cool. Um, I guess what we're missing is a button that says, you know, make chat room, right? I need to put that somewhere. Um, well, once you, once you that I mean, yeah, I could just, I could just, it did. I mean, now uh, all we need to do is like, you know, for instance, when you log in, you'll, you'll get the list of people that are already in it and then you can move forward into the chat rooms area. We just need more stuff happening on that, that yeah, front screen. So you lo log in, it's got a list of people. You can maybe scroll down on the page. It's got create chat room. It's got the, you know, the active chat rooms, the expired ones, whatever else. And then, yeah, as we build more of the platform here, there'll just be more stuff added to that front screen is just right. one way to easily do it. And we can always, 
you know, adjust it later, make better graphics, better screens and stuff. But for the facilitator or for you and I, it doesn't, it just needs to work at this point. Yeah. Like it's, you know, easy enough. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's just to keep in mind that there's, you know, the way that I program the language in the, right now with the buttons across across the top, like, I'm not sure if you've set it up this way, but at some point, it's it's like the one-on-one -on -one buttons, as we press them, we've got those 10 buttons, right? Well, there, there's a friend of mine who has these 10 elements. He has a model of 10 elements that it would be nice to be able to reprogram those 10. And it's almost like now, now okay, we've got this one setup, but we want to try different setups of how to break those down because this may not be like the perfect way to do it right there's a lot of different ways to break down the second level so i'm just wondering from your point of view as a programmer how like how easy would it be like once we finish this we got it ready how easy would it be to change the one-on-one -on -one buttons at the bottom different language set Different language? You mean like? Well, like in, instead of research infrastructure and all those words that are below one on one right now, that they could be changed to fire, earth, air, water. Yeah, it could be done for sure. I mean, because because what I see is like this: what how we have it configured right now is our first test prototype for how to do this. But I see that there's going to be a lot of different ways to sort of figure out even the top five buttons and the bottom ones, right? Like essentially what we're doing is we're using models to, to organize these chat rooms together. And I can see that there, there's a lot of different ways to do that. And this is just yep. going to be one configuration of how to do it. So just from a programming design point of view, like when, like if we go, okay, save the whole thing, we want to save the whole configuration, we want to create a new one give it a new name and then change some of the buttons change the languaging on the top buttons but still have the design of the whole thing working yeah i mean uh of course it's easier if we just decide what we want first and then i program it instead of having to change it mm -hmm. but you know i i know it's, it's just that the the um it's like having the seven the seven superhero teams and i was thinking well actually maybe we could just have like a the money team the power team the sex team the the heart team actually call the superhero team specific functions that are that are connected to the chakra system Right. You understand? I mean, uh, to me, it's more important. I don't, I don't really care what they're called. To me, it's more important. To, what are they doing? Like, what are they for? You know, and then we will, I think we should just figure out what, what those groups are supposed to be. And then, and then work backwards from there or like figure out, you know, what we want this, these things to do and then, and then create a design that fits that. Well, the, I mean, the thing is essentially they're teams, right? And what we have right now are very, uh, like having a media team and it's like the main distinction is there's four people in a media team and the main distinction of the superhero team is there's five teams with four. So it, it's not as much based upon the function as of yet. It's based upon the amount of people in it. Right. I mean, uh, yeah, like for me, it's, it's, uh, uh, you know, we have all these different, um, chat room possibilities here like uh we got you know superhero team the knowledge all this stuff and then we got all these different ones for them um yeah and, and what they're called and stuff is is you know up to you there and we can replace the names whenever if that's what you mean like yeah just change change yeah. the names yeah yeah that's what i'm saying but functionality is going to stay the same but the names are going to ch could change. Yep. Well, that's easy enough, then. Okay. Yeah.
Um, like, yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't, I guess I don't, oh my God. I guess I don't, don't completely understand the whole plan yet, but I don't necessarily have to. Mm. But, uh, so like, I'm wondering like, okay, so the facilitator logs in or you and I as a facilitator to test it right now logs in, they can create one of these, uh, this chat room you got set up here with the points and everything and then hit create or whatever and then i guess we invite people to join or we prearrange that so that they're ready to join and or something like that and then uh yeah and then people talk and they get points or whatever else and yeah i mean i think at some point like right now i've got two plantar guardian teams right that i'm training so I've got two media teams that at some point will be two of the media teams in this program. And I'm aiming at doing five. So I'm aiming at creating one superhero team of 20 people and having five active media teams training and then starting to use this as a way to see how they can all come together at one time and then have their individual. So you've got your individual media team open. You've got your superhero team open. And then you've got one of the other three things open, right? So the other three things we're not quite sure. Like I'm sort of designing from the ground up and working on, you know, the reality of my existence. And then from that comes the, okay, what do we got to do next? Or so. Yeah. It's, and and I, like, um, yeah, I mean, I think probably too, we could get a bunch of people together to help work on this at this point, mm. you know, like, um, <laughs> even just have like little conversations once a week or a couple times a week to say, you know, to just to brainstorm this stuff out so that we get it, get it ready. Yeah. I think if there's two people I'd probably want to bring in, it'd be Ramayan and uh, Dale. Um, yeah. Both have, like Yogi Shambu. Yeah. Yeah. Yogi Shambu. Or like uh, just anyone who is willing to show up is, is all we need. I think at this point and just like okay. knock some ideas around and then decide some things. Okay. Okay, do you want to, is, is there a specific time that we could set up as a schedule that we know to um, make? Well, I mean, my availability is basically not great on the weekdays, but, you know, weekends I'm definitely more open. And we're one day apart, so today this is my Saturday. Right. But is, is there like a, because you've got a schedule is there a time on Saturday? Because I think you, because you're working, and you know, is there a time on Saturday that we could set up and have a weekly weekly chat? Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think of what the difference is. So, yeah, for me, I mean, it's almost 3 p.m. here. 3 p.m. Okay, yeah, it's like 10 o'clock here. Um, what about like 12? Oh, wait, what would it be? Like 5.30 your time? 5.30 p.m.? It would be 12.30 okay. for me. And... Okay, so 5.30 to 6.30? Yeah, let's try that out. Okay. See if you can get people to how, kind how of about, like... How, how about 5 to 6? Yep, that's fine. Okay. Yep. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll arrange who comes in. And, um, and yeah, we'll have a bit of a brainstorm around... Get some tech yeah, and like one of us could screen share what we have so far, or probably you, and then show up, show them some of the designs you have going, and like, and yeah, just spend an hour each week talking about what to do next, and then give you know assign me some homework during the thing, or I'll, I'll volunteer to do some, and then yeah, hopefully this will start the ball rolling, and other people saying, oh well, I could do that, or hey, why don't I you know think about that and, and have something for next week. Yeah, because I think that's yeah we're lacking in that. Like just the two of us, it's it's yeah. less efficient than if we have more. Okay, sure. uh, okay, five to six on Saturdays, my team, my my time. I will arrange that and schedule that in. Okay. Cool, and I mean, if possible, we could do today too. It's, yeah, you know, a few um, hours, but whatever. Next next week too. Yeah, I'm not. Sh everyone I know is using pretty scheduled in for things so i don't think so Fair enough. um i'm wondering about 
Because I'm thinking like I should also be designing that front screen um, and have all the functions that I would want on it. And then it's kind of like we're working from both ends, right? The design of the ideal at the front and then the actual stuff at the back. Yeah, like, like, um, yeah, like putting together the facilitator paid or a section or whatever where they create the chat room and then yeah. fill in those things. That's that's fairly straightforward for me, and it's it's th things like that that I can do quite easily and quickly. Actually, okay. Okay. it's the moving stuff around and like applying all the buttons or it's. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, like the, the, the difference between programming and, and design. Anyway, the programming I can do very quickly, but like if I understand the functionality of this, these chat rooms beyond, you know, like to do one chat room and get it working and us to test it is much easier than trying to set it up for all these 96 chat rooms that we're not actually using yet. Yeah. Well, you know. yeah, well, what I'm hoping is that each, like we're creating that one room and then in each of those chat rooms, we can press it, go, okay, in this chat room, now we want to program it with this, right? Right. And then so that's what I'm starting to wonder, like, is it the facilitators, are they setting up these permanent chat rooms kind of thing where if someone who isn't a facilitator comes in and they click on one of these many buttons at the top, it loads one of those chat rooms that's already set up by them? Yeah. Or something cause, like that. Well, I think it, it's kind of like – this is going to be the place where we see it all, but I think we need a way to, and I think I was asking before, if we can set up a chat room on somebody's website, right? Like let's say they, they add it as one of their pieces and then they're the facilitator of that specific chat room. So then in the game, the magic, like they find a way to get there. All of a sudden they, they get there and they got to get their team in that chat room. And then they have, let's say, 30 minutes or an hour to figure out whatever they got to do in that chat room. Right. So they're moving across the net between these rooms, having these conversations and they get points for doing that. But we have like from our facilitator from the software program, there's a place that one of the buttons should be locate the chat room. So the chat room is going to be in where we are, but it's also on their website. Is that possible? Yeah, I mean, yeah we can make it so people can um, install a chat room on their website very easily. And, you know, just because they're running it, we'll know where it is anyway. Install it'll go through our server, right? Right. Like, so, I mean, that's, like, that's pretty novel, isn't it? No, no, people could already do that for sure. No, the but difference I mean, would, I think, would be that they're part of our, they're part of a bigger thing, like putting that chat room in there. If they could go through the levels or whatever in that chat room and wind up, you know, entering this, a system that we're, we've created of different chat rooms and different levels and, and progression in, in order, and eventually they end up, you know, proving themselves and, and joining this wider team that is sort of accessible through the original chat rooms like anywhere that people put them you know because like how about okay can we get really these? totally understand what you mean i guess maybe well I'm, I'm thinking okay let's let's look at the uh, yorkton learning center and they're going to have a website right and they're one of the oh, media teams uh, just one sec sorry okay okay i must put headphones on Sorry. Okay, go okay, ahead. So, so let's say we've got the Yorkton Learning Center. And they they have a website and then one of their websites is enter this chat room. And that chat room is the beginning of coming into their learning center. And one of their goals is okay, you come into the chat room, you have to come into the chat room with four people. Okay. And then you, you have to accomplish this mission, right? Which is the, the beginning of them creating a planetary guardian media system, media team. So so each each website or organization or person 
can is like a conduit inside to bring these teams in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like that. So, and then then it's kind of like in that chat room, they come in, they go into the chat room, they complete it. Let's say it takes an hour. First mission one takes an hour. They press the button, and boom! Now their team on a score on on the York on the on that team's profile of initiating new media teams coming in. And when they get four more to join them, now they're a superhero team. Like they're building a shared knowledge community of the seven superhero teams. So each place is building a shared knowledge community of 144 people. And they continue to go to that same original website in order to access this stuff? Yes, until they create their own. Like part, uh, part of the, the next level, to go to the next level is then you get a chat room that goes on your website kind of thing. Okay. Uh, okay, so they're kind of like earning their, uh, they're earning well, well, the, the whole to thing. put a website or, or to put a chat room on their website by having to go through this process in order to, yeah. on, on one of our, you know, uh, designated first websites. And then yeah. some people have to earn the ability to add it to their website by going to this, these, one of these first websites and go through the process and, and I like it. that. Yeah. And, and then it's interesting. like what I'm doing with these two teams is they're all paying me $25 is for them and they pay me $25 and I make a hundred hour. And then whatever I'm teaching them, I do a map per session, then they can now teach to four people they bring in. Okay. Right. So it's like a fraction. You know, as soon as you have your four, you become a trainer at the next level for another four, and then each step along the way, um, everyone is making a hundred dollars an hour. That's the base wage for the planetary guardians. That's the minimum wage. Okay. So in these chat rooms and Zoom are going to be the, the, the places where. I think the chat rooms are the time in between, and then the Zooms are the But I'm seeing that so they come onto the website, they go into the first mission, they complete that mission. When they complete the mission, they're now on uh, a probationary team. They go to, and then they, they have to go to mission number two. And they go to mission number two, and they can go as fast as they want. They could do it today or they could take a week, right? Depends upon how much time they have and, and what they're willing to do. And okay. so, yeah. and so they're, they're, they, the, we're teaching the facilitators at Yorkton how to program that chat room. Because at some point there, there's gonna be sort of two, I guess there's gonna be two paths. There's gonna be sort of inflow matrix training and just any training. Because the inflow matrix is teaching you the general structure of the whole thing, and the independent training is anything, anything you want to train. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and so, okay. Um, it's not a huge deal to allow people to put it on their website and or to restrict it to certain websites until they have, you know, um, access or whatever, and, you know, recorded in our database that they did. Uh, complete these things and that this email is now verified or whatever that's all easy um yeah we just need to i think make the chat room on our website test it with a few people so that we know it works and then we can put out the, the first ones on other websites now now what we're building is we're building that a frame to go around the chat room you have right because the chat room you have has its functionality with those buttons and they have to be there right and we're building the larger frame around it do you mean that that uh, the ideal the whole, chat the room? Whole, the ideal chat room fits Bye. around all those buttons. Yeah, fits like it's almost like at the ideal chat room. There's a oh. square in the middle. That's the actual chat room as it is now. We're just building the next layer around it, uh. then frames the context for what conversation happens inside. So, really, okay. So, interesting. Does that make sense? I think I, I get what you're saying. Like under mission step objective and the and the big box there inside the white box, there'd be 
all those five buttons that open up into lots of other buttons. Let me just get that back in there again. Where the heck did it? Okay, it's not coming in. In the ideal chat room, right, there's a square in the middle. Yeah. And everything around it is, is the function. Um, once you press the button, the square in the middle becomes the, the actual chat room that you have already created. Right, but do you mean it also contains all those top menu buttons? Yes. No, 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 no. It doesn't create. No. It doesn't create the top. It's just it's independent chat. Like okay. It's almost like taking the chat room that you got, the simplified version, shrinking it a bit and putting it inside the ideal chat that we're creating. Right. Okay. So just the messages are happening yeah. in the middle. Okay. No, that's easy enough. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. I get it now. Because you need that's that, like, sure. post the, you know, post, you know, the functionality that you have has to still be there. Yep. But then what we're creating is the framing around it. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. Um, okay. So you're saying the right hand column for the point score, cause I've got the, the personal points and then I've got a little white box there. Yep. You look in the drive. Uh, oh, just double check. Make sure I'm looking at the same thing here. Bars and columns. And then yeah, column two. Yeah, if you look at column two, I is that well? Does that work? Because I've just got the. You would well, rather all, have it as independent pieces. Yeah, I think it should be independent pieces. So you've got like columns one dot png. That's perfect for the actual column itself. And then okay. if you can, you can give me the yeah each of these buttons by itself. Okay. And also, I noticed that personal points is the same color as columns one. That's kind of weird. I think. Okay, Maybe it's, I'll change it's, it's that. slightly different shade or something. Yeah, okay, I'll change that. But yeah, that's good. And then also, yeah, for the other ones too, like the bottom bar. Um, Cause like, actually, if you could send me, uh, like, if you're looking at that there, and you got the time estimate, start time, and time total time. Yeah. In those boxes, if you could actually just send me one of those blank boxes, that's all I need, and then I'll have okay. it right. I'll have it right in the title, and then the time could be inserted in there. Okay. But yeah, just a blank white box. Just a blank box. Okay. Um, and, then let me s and then same with the shared lens. If you could just send me the random button and the choice button. Yeah. Um, and then the rest. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess. And then the three circles with the choose conceptual lens, choose conversation type, choose value lens. Yeah. And then, yeah, actually, if you could send me to the, just the white mission bar, or sorry, mission step bar, just the blank white bar. Okay. And then the same thing for the mission step objectives. Okay. And then. So just every little piece. Well, the, the yeah. What about I mean, the languaging? The languaging stays on the bars. It's fine if it's not moving. Mm, no, it's. I mean, it's best if I. If I have. Best if you do the languaging. Yeah, so that it fits with the different sizes and stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. So the blank, like blank buttons and blank bars and stuff is what really what I need and then okay. except for the choice at random you could I mean those look good and they will just resize and stuff okay and for the points too those look fine I just need them individually that's all okay and yeah like uh, you see anything missing like from that ideal chat or do you think that's going to be good enough we got points, we got timer, we got the goal, we got the step, and we've got the values. I mean the hmm. I'm just saying, is there anything that you would put there that isn't there? Um no, no, no. 
Mm, I don't think so. No, no, it's pretty good, I think. Yeah, I can't think of anything that jumps out of me, at least. But along the way, anytime you, there's something like that, make sure you talk to me about that, eh? Because I get I can get pretty focused on what I think should be there, but you know, it's got to yeah, against other people. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I think it, it makes sense right now. And yeah. Um, yep. Let's let's do that then. Okay. Like get the we'll get the simplest iteration finished and yeah. then test get it tested and then you know fine tune the the visuals and then fine tune the everything else. And I don't think it's too far away from being able to put it on someone's website though, basically. Okay. So I guess if you can if you can maybe tell me, write to me like what what would be the process the simplest process to put it on someone's website. At some point, are, are they just going to embed it? Yeah, I mean, the simplest process for sure would just be they embed it, like they copy and paste a little bit of code, and that becomes an iframe on their website, which mm -hmm. is basically just, it's, uh, yeah, it's just a box that allows another website to display whatever they want. And then we, we on our side, it, it'll, you know, detect that and we will give them whatever they're allowed to have or whatever they start with and they'll just go through our, our thing. Okay. That's the easiest way. Uh, the ultimate way, you know, the way we should do it down the road or once we have everything perfect and we want to make this, you know, the final copy or whatever is an API, which definitely is a lot more in depth, but it's more secure for us and it's more professional and it works better basically. Okay. But for now, iframe is fine. And lots of you know big companies, they still use iframes and stuff. So it's not a big deal, actually. And what's the difference between the API? Like what has to happen? For uh, that's definitely a lot more work uh, on our side and more work for them as well. Okay. Like they have to be able to, like an API just allows them to kind of put it wherever they want on their website or like pop it up with their own buttons or you know do a lot of customization to it. Mm -hmm. We may not even want them to do that. An iframe just makes it so boom, they have boom our chat room wherever they put the iframe and it looks okay. exactly like we want it to look and we control everything about it. So that might be the way to go anyway. Okay. And yeah, not hard. Not hard at all. Um, uh, yeah, I have to do a little bit more work in the back end just to restrict which websites can run the iframe so that, you know, if someone copies and pastes that link on their website, it doesn't work. It just says, you know, you have not achieved whatever in order to access this or something like that. And then the websites that we, that we have already given it to, or that people have earned the ability to put it on, it, it will keep track of that and allow the iframe to load up for them, but not, not other people. Okay. That's, that's not a huge thing either. I've done all that kind of work before with the think tank actually. So. Are you, have you been thinking at all how to bring in the think tank probably into the issue coalition side or anywhere? Are you seeing the link? Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about it a bit and yeah, it's really just adding more functionality to a chat room in general that allows for mass communication and collaboration and like different, different features that I haven't seen before. So I've been brainstorming about it a bit for sure. Okay. Okay, that might be level three or something like that. Yeah, once we get, you know, 100 people or more using this thing on a regular basis, it's going to be time to start building that out for sure. Okay. And then we'll declare to them, hey, we have a chat room that'll also take, you know, everyone all at the same time. And we're going to have a big, a big giant discussion at this date at this time. And everyone is invited from all the different things. And that could be our first test of that, basically. Okay. So I think that makes sense. Build this iteration and get them going through the levels and everything like this and earning points and stuff and people like that, you know, gamify it like you're saying. And, and then start to get a bit of a, a member base or whatever you want to say, user base. And then, yeah, if, once it reaches, you know, 100 plus of fairly regular people, then we definitely can move to that step. Start building the 
mass collaboration think tanks or whatever you want to call it. And you know the 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 ability. I think the next step for you, kind of like as I get the rest of this done, was for you to figure out the uh, streaming thing in the middle, so we could have the, um, so we could put a, a, a YouTube video in the middle, and then chat rooms around it. Remember? Yeah. And the streaming from Streamyard or or Facebook Live, maybe. Yeah. Um... Was that something that was? On your plate. I thought that was the next thing on your plate. It kind of is, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna try to do that. Like to put a video from YouTube on there is super easy. I could do that, um, but yeah, Streamyard. And I'm not sure about the Facebook one. I'm, I'll, I have to research that more to see if that's even possible. But my feeling is that it must be. Or Zoom, or Zoom. Like I mean, the thing is, you know, Zoom. Zoom I don't think so. I don't, I don't think you can put a Zoom on a website. It's like a Skype call. You couldn't put a Skype call on a website unless you did some funky stuff, maybe. But it, yeah, the StreamYard or something like that, that's what it's made Cause, for. Because, I mean, StreamYard, I know for sure, has it's a, you know an embed thing that seems pretty easy. So, I yep. mean, if, I, would, I would, if you could do the StreamYard and the YouTube are the two easiest things, um, we can add other things afterwards. But we, because we, I do a, uh, a show every Wednesday that does StreamYard. So, if I could just stream it in there and then begin to go, okay, well, what, what do we want this for? How are we going to use this kind of thing? That's what I need to know is like, where is it going to be on the website or in the chat room or whatever? And so I can, well, well that, like to, there. to me, the, like, as soon as you come in and you got the top bar and then you press a button, you got the bottom bar before you do any functionality after that, there's this underneath it, there's the central reference point, which would be the streaming video. Okay, or if no one is streaming at that time, then what is it, you know? Uh, hmm. it just says no one is streaming right now or something? Because um, most of the time, someone won't be, at least for now. Well, I mean, there's, okay, there's a soul network, and what he wants to do is sort of like 24-hour streaming. So this, that would probably be the, um, the first functional network we'd be using it for. So maybe I'll bring Clint in to that Saturday meeting. Sure. Okay. I'll bring in Clint. I'll try to bring in Ramayan. You know, it might actually be paid to have two meetings, um, maybe even back to back for us. But first, one of the two meetings would be just people, you and me, and some people that want to to brainstorm on what this thing should do. Yeah. And the other me the other meeting, bring in people that want to use it and you know, that have their own purposes already in mind. Okay. I think to separate those two would be good. And they'd also, they'd both be helpful for us. Okay. So the first one would be inner team. Yeah. And the second team would be outer team. Yeah. And probably in that order too, so that we can talk each week okay. about how okay. we want it to have... work and then right away have clients talking to us about how they want it to work. Okay. So why don't we go uh, five to six? is the outer team and four to five is the inner team. Is that okay? Uh, four to five. Yep. On Saturdays. Or on Saturdays? On Saturdays. Tomorrow Saturday for you, right? Uh, yeah. Because it's Saturday here right now, so yeah. I must remember that. Yeah, so we won't start the start Yeah, that's, that's fine with me, so. So four to five p.m. Uh, Saturdays for inner team and then five to six on Saturdays for outer team. Okay. Just taking notes here. Okay. Yep. That's fine with me. And so, I mean, you're working all week, right? You got a slow computer, so we may not get beyond where we are. I mean, I think I'll be finished. I'm going to hopefully finish today. I'll finish. I'll set. I mean, you've got. Can you work work tomorrow all day, or what, what's um? Yeah, um, yeah. Tomorrow's my Sunday, so I'll be here for sure. Um, and like today, I can make the, you know, a basic facilitator create chat room thing. Um, you know, I'll just whip it together. It won't look super pretty, but it's 
Yeah. It will function. Habit is, so they Habit is a start. Click a bunch of stuff. They can put in the points. They can choose the mission step, put in the mission objective, set the times, choose the lenses. And for now, I'll just set up the choose the lens thing until you until you give me them. But yeah, I can set it all up so that the database can handle it and they can hit create and you know I'll, I'll just do all that so it's ready at least. Okay. Yeah. So you just you got you got enough to go on. You're saying. Yep. Yeah, I got enough. I, I got a bit to do there for sure. Okay, that would and be great. I'll, I'll I'll try to get the stream yard as well today or tomorrow, and and try to at least see if I can put that in and how it works and test it if I can. Because if yep. we can have something, I guess by the next Saturday for them to actually, if we can show them the next level, that'd be great. Yeah, um, yeah. If you can get me the graphics, just those. Yeah. Uh, graphics tomorrow even by tomorrow yeah. that probably work for me and yeah even like 10 lenses of each would be fine to just start yeah no i'm gonna just, i'm gonna do the whole i'm really gonna see if i can do the whole thing today and That's, so uh you obviously you already have them because you printed out those cards before well right? I, yeah i have them i know what they are but i gotta make them smaller right they gotta be smaller like two inches or something or no, no, they could be huge. It, it'll automatically size them. So the bigger, the better, actually, because people True. sometimes have huge resolutions on their computers anyway these days. Okay. So you can just give it to give it to me full size if you want, and they'll automatically fit the size of their browser. Okay. I'm just wondering about because because the main thing is seeing the word, but then there's the definition of the word. Um, yeah, like I think from the user perspective, uh, once they join one of these chat rooms and those things are already determined for them, they could probably, it would make sense if they could just click on it and boom, it would expand it into the little screen so they could read it properly and then hit escape or whatever and it's back to over there again. Okay. And to do that with the full size images is, is best anyway. Okay. So, yeah. But we, we, they should be able to be read at the smaller scale, right? Just yeah, I mean, that's just a matter of, um, you know, whether they have a, you know, whether their screen size has enough pixels to do that, actually. Okay. Okay, I think we, we got it all. I'm going to get to work. Um, is that enough? Yep. Cool. If you got questions, ask me, and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay. That sounds good. All right, good to see you. All right. And, and again, hopefully we'll get you a computer as soon as we can. Fuck. Well, yeah, <laughs> that'd be cool. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye for now. See you later.